Next up, Ellie Simpson. She's going to talk to us about Feedback Friday. So I will be discussing kind of a, a more committee project about Feedback Friday. If you remember last year, I kind of just spoke about how we were going to start um, surveying the residents about their perceptions and satisfaction with feedback. And this was kind of came out of an ACGME survey from a couple of years ago in which Moran did not perform as high as we would have liked in, in this aspect. Um, so Feedback Friday, it was started by Mole, then it officially began uh, this academic year. And the goal was just to improve the feedback for residents. And this came in the form of rubrics and reminders to have residents and faculty ask for or give feedback. And it was really meant to be very informal. You know, we created this rubric, which I, in no means was supposed to be filled out completely, um, but just kind of give us a, a springboard to start this discussion as it, um, some residents express that it can be uh, kind of awkward sometimes to ask for feedback. Um, so last year we developed a survey uh, regarding resident experience and the perception of feedback during training. And this survey was distributed last at the end of last year. So prior to Feedback Friday, and then again this year, and just to note that there were 10 responses last year and uh, nine this year. So we're working with pretty small numbers. Um, the survey is actually about 11 or 12 questions long, but for the case of time, I'm only gonna present a few of the responses. This first question um, was regarding uh, frequency and how often you received uh, feedback from faculty members. Um, and last year, um, the most common response was once a month. And this year we noted that um, uh, the most common response was weekly. We also asked how effective they felt the um, feedback was. So this is personalized or useful, something that they can implement. Um, and both years, the most common response was that it was somewhat effective. And for this question, I just assigned each of the responses a five through one um, numerical value and I created means. Um, so there was an improvement in the mean score this year for 2022-2023 to 4.0. Another aspect we looked at was the amount. Um, I receive enough feedback from faculty regarding my performance was the question. Um, in the 2021-2022 uh, academic year, uh, a large majority said they disagree and felt like they did not receive enough feedback. This year, um, they said they were agreed or neutral. So again, the mean scores for that um, jumped from a 2.3 to a 3.1 this year. We asked about satisfaction and the satisfaction of how they feel like they received their feedback uh, from, um, from faculty. Again, um, the 2021-2022 year, 70% um, disagreed that they felt that they were not satisfied. Um, and this year we've seen an improvement where it was either neutral to agree. And so this was the largest um, increase in means in this study. So it went from a 2.0 to 3.3. And lastly, um, this was just kind of, kind of get at that culture a question of providing residents with feedback is valued in our program. 2021-2022 um, year, it was neutral. This year it's neutral with a few more agrees. So there's a small uh, bump in the mean scores for those years. In conclusion, Feedback Friday did make some improvements in the residents' perception and their satisfaction with the feedback. Um, but certainly this program relies on reminders for faculty and residents um, to ask for feedback. You know, this isn't something that's going to be changed immediately. It kind of has to come with a culture shift as well. Um, so the Mole Committee recognizes and realizes that. So I'd like to thank them for participating in this and also the residents for filling out the um, surveys. And I'm happy to take any questions. Here are some examples of feedback chiefs have received this year. And you can guess who they're from. <laughs> questions. Mm -hmm. 